actually completed um, grading for the band for both uh, band sizes and cup sizes. Now what we need to do is we actually, um, if you're going to be putting this into Illustrator to let's say make a downloadable pattern, um, or even just to make it a little bit easier to print um, for personal use, we're going to use Illustrator. But in order to work in Illustrator, we have to export it in a certain point. So I'm going to come over here to File. And first I'm going to reset the output area. Um, we're actually going to have a whole new area. So we're going to set the output area. I'm just going to set it to that. And then I'm going to come over here and go to the options. Now if we look at our options, these are all of the sizes. We can do a nest. I don't recommend doing a nest, um, not when you're putting it into Illustrator. So what our main goal is, is that we're going to be doing from sizes G through J for each of these cups. Now we've obviously graded a lot more, so we have them available and if you end up having people that want let's say a custom size, even though it's not really custom like KL, um, they can use the sister size because like remember when we did the band itself, the front of the band, we did not change that. So that actually is graded for this whole range, um, that whole range. But we're only going to really be doing four, and if we want we can throw in, uh, we'll, we'll throw in from F to J. That makes people a little bit happier. Um, and then here you have your plot info. This is just for exporting for Illustrator. I don't want that information. Um, any of this is probably okay. Um, any notches that you have, any um, the direction lines, all this stuff is okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. This is, uh, you can ignore that. You can play around with that later. So this is going to print all sizes of that. So I'm going to hit OK. And then what I'm going to do is I want to export this one. So this part is a little time consuming because you're going to have to do this one at a time. Um, each pattern piece that you've graded, each band. So I'm going to go and hit, <clears throat> for some reason, the new edition, when I set my print setup, it wasn't actually saving it for print. So I'm just going to skip the print setup and go straight to print. It still kind of gives you the same prompts. <coughs> <clears throat> and my voice is sounding so husky for some reason. Woke up with a sore throat because my computer is really slow. I promise that next time, the next video I will be doing, you know, after this whole series, um, I will be working on my new computer. But as of right now, I'm not. Okay, so I'm going to go to my Adobe PDF. I think you also have this option where you can print to PDF. Um, there's a couple different, so we want to make sure that you can get to a PDF, and I believe this is pretty much built in with everything. Um, I have a letter. Um, it will most likely fit on a letter, but I'll do, let's just say, I'll do oversize. The bigger, it, we don't really want to piece it, so we'll see what this looks like. So um, we're going to hit OK, and this should actually, and no. Nope. It doesn't like that size, so this likes to give me that arrow. Okay, let's see if I can do this again, or if it's going to give me more errors. Nope, more errors. Uh, so I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to come to my preferences again. Obviously, it didn't like that size, and every time I've done this, um, and it beeps at me like that, it um, will come. Completely. Let's see if tabloid will work. It freezes on me if I have the paper size too big. Um, it could just be the memory on this computer is having the issues, but in case you have those issues, just work, have it try and print to a smaller file. And it looks like it's doing it. I guess we'll see if there's an error. And waiting. Waiting. Okay, it is. It should be printing five pages. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Oh, six. So that means that one of these, one of these uh, files might be a little bit too big. Might have taken up two pages. So this is going to automatically 
Let's see if we will open up in here. And it should open up right in this file. So yeah, you see this it should open up in here. I'd like to show you the whole process, but it's being very slow. Slow to load. And there it is. Okay. So these are the bands. So you can see that I probably should have changed it. And what we're going to do is we're going to end up opening this in Illustrator one at a time. So what we need to do is we just need to get these in files. And you can see where I'm guessing. Oh, I actually did get it all there. So it just has an extra page of, of gibberish. So I'm just going to go hit File, Save As. And again, a really long 44 back band. And then you're going to do this for each of the band sizes. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Pause. The next thing we're going to do is export the cup patterns. Now I do apologize since I did my last export. I have lost my voice and I'm just getting it back. So what we need to do okay I'm going to reset the output area. So I'm going to select the you're gonna to have to do this for each cup size. And what I also like to do is let's just view our pattern names so you know what you're working on okay now before we just go hit print if you remember when we were doing the bands the back bands we had selected that we were exporting six sizes so we just need to go in here and set the output options if we did this right now even though we don't have any difference basically we didn't grade these points on the cup and because that it doesn't really matter which one we choose we could choose this one this one this one uh, I'm, I'm just going to choose that because that was my starting one we only have to choose one of them otherwise we will end up printing out six pages then you hit OK and then we'll go to print now again I've been skipping the print setup because uh, I've had issues with it really reverting uh, I'd have to do double the work so once this loads and yes I'm still on this low computer okay I'm gonna go to my PDF and if I do this as a letter I'll have to piece it in Illustrator so I'm gonna go with the largest size now I actually went in and created the largest size that my computer can handle um, right there but if you don't have that set up tabloid is a pretty big one so we can go and hit OK and then it will save this as a PDF and then after this one is completed um, we can then work on the front band once you complete one size and save it you're gonna need to repeat this for each of the cups so each size in the cups. Now the last portion we need to export is going to be the front of the band. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and just set reset my print area. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, just like that. Now we have this as one piece. If you want to make this in two pieces, all we have to do is kind of take our double scissors here and then just go from here to there. And there we have our two pieces. Now this this point right here does not have seam allowance on it, so I'm going to hit Control R to add that seam allowance. So one quarter, okay. And right in here, Control R, one quarter, okay. So now I have my seam allowance for all these. I'm just going to move this up a little bit apart right here and now we're ready to export this but we need to actually go and check our output options now because this one is actually going to be working with every single one of the cups we created we're going to select all of those 
So we're going to select every single size, not as a nest, as a size, and then we'll hit OK. And then we go to Print. Um, I'm going to use my larger file, the tabloid, really cut my pattern up into a whole bunch of pieces. So like I said, this was something custom I did, and you can easily create a custom. You just go into Properties, and then the paper size, and you can custom create that. And I probably should have done the landscape, but it's okay. <coughs> and then that is pretty much how you export everything. Um, the next portion that we'll be discussing is um, basically bringing it into Illustrator and making it uh, printout uh, friendly for um, download downloadable patterns. And hopefully it won't be straining too much. So, and thank you.